Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Again. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I hope you're still having a happy Halloween. We're here in some kind of shack, where I guess someone has been living? There's no paint anywhere, so I don't think it's the person leaving the boxes behind, although it was my first thought. We had a chat with other Alan. It was rather one-sided. Uh, I swapped out my pump sh uh, shotgun for a... Jeez, the shadows and the thing that we think they were eyes looking in. Uh, for a hunting rifle, yes. How much ammo do I have for that? More, but let's go with a hunting rifle anyway. Because why not? Uh, before we begin, I'd like to give a shout out to Elthwar who is also questioning whether or not uh, Nightingale is in the FBI. Especially because I'm pretty sure he isn't following standard procedure, and the FBI only get involved if A, the issue is a federal one involving multi-state or the federal government, or B, by request from local law enforcement for assistance due to some unusual circumstances. And again, I don't think either one is in effect, he just showed up. And, you know, my wondering about, oh, the Bureau, but, you know, they didn't go there. But, you know, my wondering about that is uh, commented on here. If he was in the Bureau of Control, well, that would be an excellent tie-in, but the agents there tended to be a little more detached, and I'm not sure if this weirdness would have reached them just yet. As for why the Darkness is editing the story, if I'm right about the Darkness being unable to create, it needs Alan to make the framework for it to do something, with each edit making it closer to what it wants. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm just saying, it could have been a thermos. Felt that the ambient light just dropped a level there. Oh, I really hate that. There's nothing down there. I would have been able to see it going away by that amount of time. That's just like the darkness is stretching, you know? That makes, that's what that makes me feel like. Like it's just stretching out its limbs, and oops, I pushed against the fabric of reality and it pushed over a tree. My bad. Except not really, because it doesn't, you know, care. Conceptual forces, as a general rule, do not much care what they do, you know? So, well, I'm sorry your house is in the way, but I'm, the, you know, the ancient element of fire. It's what I do. I burn things. Hmm. Why did it default to that one? Where... Oh, no, it was the, uh... The TV there, yes, I can't look at that. The, uh, the message about how... It's, the, the lake isn't just a lake. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. I bet he uses the phrase city boy. Hey. Well, I'll be damned. I'm going to be honest, I thought the comment was kind of out to lunch, but I'm hearing the breathing again, and there's the paint. Uh, shout out to Derek Floyd, who in fact said the mysterious breathing seems to be connected to the mysterious painted messages. And when the dark presence is strong, the swirling effect it has on the world looks like what you'd see if you were underwater. Oh yes, I mentioned that one myself, but that was before, that comment was before that video went live. Uh, also mentions, incidentally. Uh, Alvin Durlith, the guy who got filled with the 1,000 young of some ancient god in, uh, Bright Sp uh, no, sorry, uh, Night Falls. Night Falls? Night Springs, yes. Blech. Alvin Durlith is a blatant reference to August Durlith, a correspondent of H.P. Lovecraft who founded Arkham House to po posthumously print Lovecraft's short stories. Durlith wrote his own interpretation of what he called the Cthulhu Mythos, 
and shaped its modern appearance, injecting his own Christian values into Lovecraft's alien, immoral universe. Hmm. I did not know that. With the flare gun and the flare ammo sitting directly on top of it for like a second there, I was like, is that a grenade launcher or something? Huh. I wonder if a proper explosion would give off enough light to hurt the Taken. Because remember, if it's, uh, just, you know, if they're already covered in shadows, you could probably drop a, drop a nuke on them, and it wouldn't actually damage them to send them flying. Well, I suppose that makes a very, very big flash, now that I think about it. So that was a bad example. Birds. Oh boy. I hate this. Oh! Back, I say. Okay. Whoa! It's like they fucking teleported. <laughs> Come a long distance. Recognize one of those mill buildings in the distance there. I can't even see it on this side of the rock. It's funny. Ah, there it is. Does it just disappear or what? Oh, I see. It goes behind these trees. Ah, what the hell. Okay. Actually, you know what? This is probably a bad idea, but I am curious about this. Nah, it didn't go far enough. All I can read on that is danger. Okay. They mentioned what kind of mine it was, did they? Oh, they might have. I can't recall. Oh, it's the water making that noise. Okay. I thought it was gonna be like a fucking giant bug or something, the way there were so many footsteps right there. Here. 
This is old. You could probably... Oh, if I pried the boards away, it might collapse. Let's not do that. I was going to say, like, that's really old. I could probably open that with my bare hands. You know, maybe wedge on it with the, uh, the, the flashlight. Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. I'm supposed to go over there, but... stabbed in my brain. Oh. I don't know if that was a graphical glitch or it's just meant to be unsettling. Those are the noises it made when she was in the house in the dark. That's exactly what she said, word for word. It's the same inflection and everything. It's... It's an echo, Alan. It's not really her. I'm losing it. I gotta get out of here. Okay, okay. I remember there be uh, Honestly, I'm gonna level with you guys. I remember there being a jump scare right there. Like, part of that flashback would have just been, like, Barbara Jagger getting right up in your face. But maybe I remembered it wrong, or maybe that was somewhere else. Hunters Taken. The hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Oh boy. You have to get the fuck out of there. But yes, uh, I think the idea is that, well, that's the water of Cauldron Lake right there. Which means that the, uh, the Dark Presence is especially strong right here. I wonder if it was just messing with him, or if that's just a side effect of, you know, the waters, of things echoing out of them. I can't even tell if that was intentional or not, and that kind of scares the crap out of me. I prefer to aim the flashlight with uh, the camera over here, and the gun with the camera over here. This kind of reminds me of uh, the areas from the first DLC from uh, Control, the Foundation. All right. Hmm. Oh, this goes literally nowhere. I thought there was definitely going to be a thermos here, but no. place is so old, I'm surprised that isn't dynamite. Wait, how the fuck did pages get down here? <gasps> Where did they all go after Alan wrote them?
Nightingale in the Majestic. That was, uh, oh, the the desk cop at the station uh, recommended against staying at the Majestic because it's known for its cockroaches. Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. I'm not sure whether Alan or uh, Nightingale has the more severe problems, to be honest. Don't love that. Okay! Yeah, that felt about right. <clears throat> huh. Bumpers. Let me guess. Huh. I thought there was going to be some line there about how it ain't going to happen. Check something here. Sorry about that. Shout out to Derek Floyd, who says, uh, I think the least re rewarding collect 100 thingamajigs side quest was in Assassin's Creed 2, where if you collected all 100 feathers, your reward was a cape that maxes out your wanted rank as long as you're wearing it. I remember that. Uh, it was, uh, it was your family, uh, Cape, like the cape with, with the uh, Auditore family crest on it, with the uh, the uh, the catch being that you're an enemy of the state, and uh, as soon as they see that crest, the guards will know it's you. See, so, yeah, that was a weird reward. I come in from here. No. I remember being absolutely crushed when I learned that the equivalent quest in Grand Theft Auto 4 was, uh... Well, the reward was nothing except for an achievement. I say equivalent quest because it wasn't actually collect 100 things, it was find 100 hidden pigeons and shoot them. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you get nothing but an achievement, which really disappointed me, because in the previous Grand Theft Auto games, the, you know, find the 100 hidden packages things not only tended to have rewards, it tended to be, like, every 10 that you find, you get a better reward. Or it's like, all of your safe houses... Oh. ...up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. That's a really, uh, questionable thought, Alan. This stuff looks like it's barely holding together. But you're probably right. You know, I was just saying, uh, it's like, oh, all of your safe houses now have body armor outside as, like, the first level, or the second level being, now all your safe houses have a shotgun outside, so you will always have access to a shotgun and shotgun ammo. I think it built up to, like, a minigun in Vice City? I don't remember. It's been eight million years.
that's pretty straightforward. Okay. I wonder why they left this load on the crane. They must have abandoned this place in a hurry. Oh, I suppose that would have been the volcanic eruption, huh? Oh! Boy. Really glad those boards stick out more. Oh! Okay, I'm going over there on cross. Uh! That was closer than I would have liked. Oh, oh! Okay. Perfect! I think. But that doesn't lead me to the light at all. Oh, this leads me to the... No, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, I was wrong the first time. Uh, the second time. Heh. <laughs> Alright, well, I suppose the timer has gone. So, I'll just, uh... Oh! What about the save point over yonder? This doesn't lead to anything. Oh! Speaking of Assassin's Creed 2, I believe the appropriate phrase is Perfect! A way back up if I fall! Oh, I see! And now I use the bridge over here. Yes, that's very clever. How does it go, actually? No higher than that. Interesting that the guns despawn when he does that, but the, uh, the flashlight doesn't. Yeah, that's kind of exactly what I was worried about in the first place. All right, I'm calling it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake again when we continue making our way through a silver mine. Till then, uh, yeah, watch out for uh, kids in the streets. Uh, eat some candy, and have a happy Halloween. <laughs> Stay in the light.